Good morning everyone. This is Vanna Kate, Associate Professor, CSIT Department. Today I will be covering an important topic of operating system subject that is address translation from logical to physical address. Now this topic is from memory management unit and we know that memory management is very crucial concept where, uh, in any computing device. It is very important concept and this concept of address translation will also be useful when we will be implementing the virtual memory concept. First we will discuss what is the course objective that we will be meeting by covering this topic is the third objective that is understanding the memory management techniques. The outcome that we will be achieving is we will be able to understand different memory management services provided by the operating system. Let's have a quick recap of the previous topic that we had covered. Uh, is the contiguous memory allocation. So contiguous memory allocation is basically a method in which single contiguous section or part of the memory is allocated to a process or file needing it. Uh, contiguous memory it includes fixed size partitioning scheme and the variable size partitioning scheme. In variable size partitioning scheme we had done the first fit algorithm, best fit algorithm and the worst fit algorithm. So let's move on to our current topic that is conversion from logical to physical address. At this point we need to first answer the question that is what I mean by logical address and by physical address. So here logical address is also known as the virtual address. Right? So this uh, virtual address is generated by the CPU. And why I am calling the virtual address because CPU can access the entire secondary memory, entire, uh, entire ac uh, addresses in the secondary memory and these addresses are called as the uh, virtual address or the secondary memory address, right. But our main memory is very limited in size, right. So I need to convert this logical address into the physical address and this physical address is also known as the main memory address. main memory address or it is also known as the real address of the main memory. Right? Now why? what is the need of converting this logical address to the physical address? To understand this, let us jump, jump onto the memory hierarchy concepts. So as we can see the memory hierarchy, there are various types of memory such as, such as registers, such as registers, cache, RAM, hard disk and other offline storage devices such as tape drives etc. Registers, cache, RAM are known as the internal storage devices whereas hard disk and other storage devices are called as the external storage devices. CPU has the direct access to registers, cache and RAM whereas it, uh, CPU can uh, indirectly access the other storage devices. You can also see from this diagram that we, as we move up the memory hierarchy, the speed of the memory devices increases. That means the CPU requires less access time for accessing the registers, cache and RAM whereas it requires more access time uh, uh, for the secondary memory devices and the other devices. Right? Also we see as we move down the hierarchy, the cost per bit of the memory devices decreases. Because of this decrease in the cost, uh, we can have the increase in the capacity of the memory. That is why we say the secondary memory devices come in huge sizes, say for 1 TB, 2 TB, like, like that. But because the main memory or the cache and register, these are very expensive memory devices, thus they are not so big in size. They are limited in size, right? So we had to use them efficiently, right? Now let's say... CPU wants to access some instruction that is being stored in the secondary memory, right? So now what is what it is going to do? It is going to generate the logical address. As I said, logical address or the virtual address will be generated by the CPU, right? Now this address is of the secondary memory, right? But CPU cannot directly access this secondary memory because of the limitation of the uh, greater access time or I, I can say ki CPU requires much more larger cycle times to access the secondary storage devices as compared to the main memory or cache or register. 
so what i need to do i need to move some important instruction to be executed to the main memory right now this moving important instruction to the main memory is based on the concept of uh, a locality of reference right so when i uh, when i am moving this instruction to the ram i need to convert this logical address into the physical address or address of the main memory right so th this is the need why i need to convert this logical to the physical address now how we are going to achieve we had covered the what part why part and now we are going to convert the how part that is how we are going to con make this conversion so let's move on so here we can see cpu will be generating the logical address and with the help of the two register spe uh, specifically limit register and the relocation address uh, register we will be able to convert this logical address to the physical address let's skip this part let skip this part for the time instance and we will be understanding how this will conversion will be occurring using the relocation register this we will be uh, covering in the future slides so let's have a look on this diagram so let's say ki we have the secondary memory a huge secondary memory and we want the cpu wants to execute some instruction which is within some program so let's say this is a program and it has number of instruction and these instructions are numbered from 0 1 2 and so on that means it has it the program is having instruction numbered from 0 to 500 let's say these are the logical addresses or the addresses of the secondary memory right now cpu wants to execute let's say instruction number 346 so it is going to generate that address right yes it wants to execute this instruction i can say the 346 instruction is somewhere here right it wants to execute this right now i have the relocation register now the relocation register contains the base address base address or the starting address starting address where this program will be moved to the main memory right so i need to push this program into the main memory in order to execute this instruction so let's push this program into the main memory right now all these virtual addresses need to be relocated to the newer uh, address in the main memory right so i know ki the starting address is 14000 so all these instruction will be relocated as 0 plus 14000 that is equal to 14000 Plus fourteen thousand, so this instruction number will be relocated to the newer address that is fourteen thousand one, and so on for all the instructions I am going to do for the last instruction also. This will be converted as one four five zero zero. Thus, all the instructions, all the secondary memory addresses has been relocated to the newer address using the base address or the starting address, right? now who uh, who is doing performing this task of conversion so it is the task of memory management unit and memory management unit is the part of the operating system right as i already told you operating system is the permanent resident in the main memory so at the back end it is performing all these memory management task now let's get back we were having one more register that that was the limit register now what is the use of that limit register to understand this let's have a let's see ki instead of 346 suppose cpu tries to access the address 502 right now i very well know this 502 address is not the address belonging to that program that means the cpu is currently executing this uh, process and the 502 address will be considered as the illegal address or the invalid address it because it may belong to some other program or uh, some other process right so i need to generate a proper error or i need to generate some interrupt message ki uh, uh, the cpu is trying to access the invalid address right so how am i going to achieve this right let's see so for this we have a limit register right now suppose limit register because i was having the addresses of the program from 0 to 500 so i will set the limit register value as 501 right now cpu generates a logical address say suppose 502 right now i am going to compare right so first comparison will be is 502 less than 501 
so clearly the answer is no right so it will understand memory management unit will understand that the cpu is trying to access an illegal address and a proper trap or addressing error will be generated right whenever this condition let's say the cpu generates a valid address that is 346 because limit register is set to again 501 so 346 is less than 501 so i will add this logical address to the starting address that is the content of the relocate uh, relocatable at register that is 346 will be added to uh, base register that is 14000 to generate the equivalent physical address so this is the way i am going to convert right let's take up this or understand more by taking a numerical let's move on yeah let's say we have the five processes and all these five processes um, are need to be executed right so all these five processes need to be present in the main memory isn't it right all these processes will be brought from the secondary memory to the main memory right now once they are brought to the main memory, we will set the content of limit register and the relocation register. Let's say for P0, we have the limit register set as 500 and the base address uh, for P0 is 1200. Similarly, for P1, we have 275 and uh, base address is 550 and so on. Let's say now my CPU generates the logical address, right? Who is the, uh, generating this logical address? My CPU is generating. Now I need to first check whether this CPU is generating a valid address or not. If it is a valid address, then I need to convert it to the equivalent physical address. Otherwise, I am going to generate a trap, right? So let's compare this. So this 450, I will compare it to the limit register content of the P0. So when I say this, yes, 450 address is less than 500. So this is a valid address. So because this is valid, it will be converted to the equivalent physical address by adding 450 to the base address. This will be equal to 1650, right? Next for P1, I can say 300 is greater than 275, right? So this is out of limit. So a trap or an invalid address error will be generated. For P2, let's say 210 is less than 215. Well, yes, this is a valid address. So, thus it will be converted as 210 plus 880. This is equal to, this is equal to 1090. This is the equivalent physical address, right? Let's say for P3, 450 is greater than 420. So, this is a trap or the invalid address, right? For P4, yes, 80 is very, very less than 118. So, it will be converted to physical address as 80 plus the content of the relocation register that is 200 which is equal to 280 right so i have done conversion from logical address to physical address also uh, uh, when the trap will be generated i have identified that also so i hope you must have understood by this example so let's summarize today's session so we had uh, covered the address translation part which is a very important concept in memory management right then we had covered uh, what are logical address and what are physical address, what is the need of converting logical address to physical address, how they will be converted using the limit register and the relocation at register. Then what is a trap or what is the addressing error and how will it will be, uh, how it will be, uh, this error will be captured using the limit register. So that's all for this session today, right. So. Uh, the reference books, I will refer you some books from which you can cover these topics. So, so the books are Shilber Shorts and Galvin, William Stallings, Tenenbaum, J. Batch, Bovitt and Kesati. These are some of the good reference books from which you can cover these topics. So thank you everyone and we will meet you soon with the next topic. Thank you everyone.